The Holy Poo. There are lots of things to know in the universe. Recipes for delectable chocolate cakes, cakes. the chemical makeup of the stars, stars, and the intricacies of Kung Fu, Kung Fu, to name a few. Surely, there are things to know about the nature of the whole, certain parameters that all things adhere to, knowledge of the nature of knowledge, a door that can open to reveal all the rest of the doors. Being mortal, there is a limited amount of knowledge an ego can experience in an arena that has raised tests, tests traps, traps, and walls, walls to seal off knowledge from those who are not ready to comprehend. People who've been told a lie is truth all their lives risk destructive insanity in seeing the truth of their delusion. Though really, who is to say that moments of destructive insanity cannot be very healthy? Yeah. Inspiration can come from most anything, I expect. Yeah. The big one, the biggest one, Ooh. the grand mystery of God, Booyah! only unattainable by the defense conditioned in us by our survival technique of allowing the option of psychopathic behavior. Uh -huh. That is to say, egos can be taught that ignorance is preferable, yeah. that desire can be fulfilled if lies are accepted as truth. Yeah the desire to not suffer, the desire to have security for family, etc. Do you instantly reject the suggestion that there is no such thing as choice? Hold on, hold on. Let's delve into this one. A single universe undulating through time, making any particular now the only now it could be for its time. Perfectly and unavoidably the only thing it could be, and all things existing within that now, only able to be in the position they are in. It is this understanding that allows prophecy. To see that for the now to be what it is means every now in the past and every now in the future must only be what it is. Basically stating that any thought you may be having in the now could only, possibly, be the thought that it is because of the singular experience your ego has had to lead to that thought. Life does not choose its thoughts. Life can only reflect its experience. This being the truth, how can hate be justified? In this seemingly rare and large consideration, one naturally learns patience. The universe is huge, and learning anything would be impossible without the ability to stop and access one piece of information at a time. Why is such and such a guy doing that such and such a thing? The same reason any guy does anything. The wind of experience being blown by an infinite history, blowing the now in the only direction it can go. This means there could be nothing decidedly evil. Obviously there is craziness. The difference is there is no need to resent craziness. Instead, all energy can go towards giving an example of patience and understanding so those infected with a craziness may break out of their delusions. Mm -hmm. So, by nature, any still caught under a delusion of thinking evil can be real cannot be the authorities they may pretend to be. Right. That to have pride in anything is to be naive of the truth, that there is only one will. May we learn to forgive the catastrophically fated foolishness that has led our own lives down this hard, hard road, yeah. and enjoy the knowledge that with the love of truth we need never fear or have anger for the rest of the time fate gives to our mortal existences. You're my honey bunch, pumpy umpy umpkin. You're my sweetie pie. You're my coffee cake, gumdrops, snookum, snookum, snore. The apple of my eye. 